Okay, so continuation ng standard vapor compression refrigeration system topic. So, recall natin, we have this schematic diagram for our uh, refrigeration system or vapor compression refrigeration system. So, we have the four components. We have the evaporator, compressor, condenser, and we have the expansion valve. Now, at point one, di ba, sabi natin, you, ideally, yung state ng ating refrigerant is what? Saturated vapor. Then, papasok sa compressor. So, magkakaroon tayo ng work ng compressor. At S is equal to C. No? So, we have 1 to 2. So, from saturated vapor, ang expectation natin is that yung refrigerant will become superheated vapor. Then, ano ang implication ng S is equal to C? So, we can say that S1 is equal to S2. And take note, no? S1 natin, since saturated vapor siya, siya ay Sg at P1. Okay? So, ano ba ang P1? O mamaya, balikan natin. Now, from point, for, from point 2, no? Yung ating state ng refrigerant ay superheated vapor na papasok siya sa condenser. Ano mangyayari? magkakaroon ng heat heat rejection so mula sa mataas ay mula sa mataas sa pressure na condenser ah, na refrigerant and pressure pasok sa condenser magkakaroon ng heat rejection heat rejection process so yan ay isobaric no so at p is equal to c then labas si refrigerant at point 3 in the condition of, ideally, dapat yan ay saturated liquid. So, ano implication nito? So, we can say that P2 is equal to P3, which is also equal to the pressure of the condenser. Ayan, no, condenser siya. Now, at point 3, no, saturated liquid, papasok na refrigerant na sa expansion valve, magkakaroon ng Trotting process, so that is isentalpic process, so H is equal to C, then magiging point 4 siya, no? o magiging state 4 in a form of wet vapor mixture. So, from 3 to 4, isentalpic expansion, so, or throttling process, so we can say that H3 is equal to H4, okay? Now, for 4 to 1, so, dadaan natin refrigerant sa evaporator. So, technically, magkakaroon siya ng heat absorb. Uh, magkakaroon siya ng heat, no? Heat added or heat absorbed from the refrigerated space. At what? At isobaric condition. So, P is equal to C. So, ano ang magiging condition nito? So, we can say that at process 4 to 1, no? Yung P1 ay equals an sa P4 which is equal to the pressure ng ating evaporator. Oh, by the way, no, mabalik tayo sa point 3. At point 3, no, since saturated liquid siya, pwede natin sabihin na H3 is equal to HF at what? P3. And again, yung P3 is equal to the pressure ng condenser. So, yan. No? So, kung titignan natin ang ating pH diagram and pH diagram saturation curve ng kulay red so we have point 1 no point 1 is saturated vapor at s is equal to c kakaroon tayo ng work ng work ng compressor yan input yan 1 to 2 so ibig sabihin natin s1 is equal to s2 so tataas ang pressure and temperature ng ating refrigerant then, from 2 to 3, yan yung ating ano, isobaric heat rejection process. So, we have QR. So, yan yung ating heat rejection, 2 to 3. At kung mapapansin natin, no, yan ay horizontal line. So, ibig sabihin, P3 is equal to P2, which is equal to the pressure at the condenser. Yan. By the way, no, point 2 is saturated heat, uh, superheated, sorry, superheated vapor ang condition ng 2. Wherein, in point 3, 
condition ng ating refrigerant ay saturated liquid. Now, from 3 to 4, fracking process. So, yan. The project natin dyan. So, we can say that H3 is equal to H4. No? Okay. Then, 0.4 is of course wet vapor mixture. From 4 to 1, magkakaroon tayo ng heat heat added. No? Yan yung heat absorbed ng evaporated from the refrigerated space. Then, kung makikita natin, kung ipoproject natin to or extend natin to line na to, so we can say that P4 is equal to P1 is equal to the pressure of the evaporator. So, yan. No? So, yan po yung ating pH diagram and yung ating ating um, ating schematic diagram. Okay, so uh, for the formulas, no? so mapapansin nyo, meron tayo mga values na dapat hanapin such as um, Q QA which is heat absorbed QR, heat rejected and work ng compressor and later on, oh, madadagdagan pa yan ng ating COP or coefficient of performance so isa-isa natin Paano ba natin mahanap itong mga values na yan? So, number one, for, ito muna tayo sa heat added, no? So, yun ay QA. So, pwede tayo magkaroon, pwede tayo mag-energy balance since sabi ko nga, um, components is working under steady flow processes, no? So, saan ba magkakaroon na heat added? Doon sa evaporator. So, redraw ko lang siya ng paganyan. So, by the way, no, ang ating system, in this case, ay yung evaporator, no? So, evaporator. Okay. So, of course, we have QA. Then, palabas. This is 0.4, technically, no? And then, papasok. That is what? 0.1. Okay. Ay, baliktad pala ako. So, this is 0.4. Sorry. And this is 0.1. Okay. 0.1. Now, kung makakaroon tayo ng energy balance, we have energy in equals energy out. Ayan. So, energy in, energy out. So, this naman, pumasok, no, somewhere into the system or going inside, no, is equal to the energy some of the energy going outside. So, we have QA plus energy 4 equals energy 1. So, isolating QA in the left side, we have QA is equal to energy 1 minus energy 4. But in this case, we can express your energy in terms of what? Enthalpy. So, we have Q4 is equal to, ay, QA, sorry, heat added, is equal to H1 minus H4. In terms of specific enthalpy, we have QA is equal to what? Mass times H1. H1 minus H4. Ayan na, H4. Ano ba itong mass na sinasabi natin? Yan po ay mass ng refrigerant. So, yan po ang ating heat addict or pwede rin tawagin natin refrigerating. Pwede rin siyang tawagin no? ano no? Refrigerating refrigerating effect. Isambok refrigerating capacity. So, refrigerating capacity. So, direct. So, yan po ang ating heat addict. How about yung ating uh, QR? So, for QR, for QR, we have for heat rejected, okay? Heat rejected. So, that is QR. QR, ayusin lang natin ang konti. Ayan, no, QR. So, mag a system natin na under consideration is of course the condenser. 
Now, dalawa ito. Bakit dalawa? So, in this case, pwede tayo mag-consider dun sa refrigerant side muna. Then later on, sa coolant side. Kasi technically, no, yung mga refrigeration cycle, yung condenser nila, konektado yan sa ating cooling system. So, anyway, dun sa refrigerant side, so, kung ito ang aking condenser, so, condenser yan, operating P is equal to C. Diba? So, kung maalala nyo, ito yung point 2. Tama? Point 2, labas yun, no? C, Q, R, and then, labas din yung point 3, yung state 3, na refrigerant. And again, pwede tayong mag-energy balance. We have energy in, equals energy out. So, we have energy in, we have energy 2, is equal to QR plus energy 3, or we have QR QR is equal to energy 2 my plus, or minus, minus, minus minus energy 3. So, in terms of enthalpy, that is H2 minus H3 or that is what? Mass of the refrigerant times H2, specific enthalpy 2 minus specific enthalpy 3. So, yan po ang ating heat rejected. Okay. Now, for QR, or for QR, for work na compressor. So, number 3, we have for WC, work na compressor. Of course, ang ating, ang ating energy balance, or ang ating energy balance or system under consideration ay refrigerant. So, this is point 2. Tama. Then, yung papasok dyan, point 1. Then, meron kang work na compressor. So, energy balance natin. Energy in equals energy out. So, we have uh, energy in. We have energy 1. Plus, work na compressor equals energy 2. So, therefore, we have work na compressor is equal to energy 2 minus energy 1 or that is what? H2 minus H1. So, technically, we have work na compressor is equal to MR, mass na refrigerant, times H2 minus H1. So, yan po ang ating formula na gagamitin. Okay? So, for the next formulas, uh, we will be computing for, or we will be discussing other formulas for heat rejected in terms of coolant side, and then, of course, another formula for compressor. Now, since compressor is a fluid machinery, then afterwards, discuss natin yung, yung ano, formula for COP and then EUR. So, again, thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. No? And then, pakipanood yung susunod pa no? na mga videos. Thank you.